Well, Swan Lake is the first ballet that I saw when I started formal dance training when I was 12. And I just remember falling in love with the tutus and just with, you know, the mood, the music and everything. So I said to myself when I was 12, one day I want to dance this ballet. Um, but because my path didn't lead me to being a classical ballet dancer, I thought, okay, I can still do it as a contemporary dancer. And um, yeah, I mean, that's really when it started. Um, but I really created it because I fell in love with the music, with Tchaikovsky's music. Um, not all of it, obviously, um, but um, the Paradeur music for me was just like so beautiful. And uh, that's how I started the piece. I started creating um, the solo, which is six minutes long. Um, and then from then on, built from there, yeah. <laughs> My Swan Lake is a fusion of African dance um, and classical ballet and the reason why I did that is because I wanted to bring the two techniques together because for me they've always like been in their own little boxes um, and they didn't coexist and I wasn't understanding that so the challenge for me was to try and bring the two techniques together um, and to see what would happen, what dynamic could be created from doing that. Um, so I mean it's very much a South African production um, because it was made there and it references um, uh, African traditions and also Western traditions. So yeah, I mean it was just very important for me to play around with the ideas and see like what is so different with the two um, techniques and how can they be brought together so that we can tell stories using both the traditions. <laughs> say that definitely um, I mean the Odette solo is a very big part of the work because that's how I started the work um, I started playing around um, with the music and with the movement vocabulary it took me about two months to create it was very difficult you know but it was a very nice challenge um, to fuse the African and the classical to this very very famous piece of music and I mean I was also very aware that I was taking a big risk um, because everybody knows the music, you know, everybody knows that this music is from this very famous ballet and I wanted to get it right and I, I, I wanted to create something special from it um, for myself and for other viewers. I didn't want people to look at it and go like, you've messed up the music or whatever, you know, it was really important for me because I respect classical ballet and the music and African dance, so it was um, about trying to create something special and different. <laughs> Well, I mean, sometimes classical ballet can be a little bit too formal, you know, um, and too static. So what I wanted to do was to to reference the ballet, but not um, disrespecting it. You know, it, it's also about uh, educating people that don't know what happens in a ballet. Um, so it's a little bit of both. It's not just making fun of the ballet. It is also about saying to people that have never seen a ballet, okay, basically this is what happens in a ballet. Um, so it was just making it more accessible for people that don't know the ballet but um, for the ballet people they can maybe laugh at themselves a little bit when they see that you know when you talk about a ballet basically what happens in all ballets is the same thing <laughs> did my research for Swan Lake, um, I first researched swans and found out that there are mute swans, swans that don't make a sound, that have been known to show homosexual tendencies. So I found that very interesting and also because um, uh, Tchaikovsky is alleg was allegedly gay um, and also the stereotype in the dance world that men who dance are gay. So this narrative sort of came together in that way because uh, you know, in my head I knew that people were already going okay, that man is doing ballet, he must be gay. So I just took that whole um, uh, concept and topic and just put it out there and go like, so what would happen if Siegfried was gay? How would it change the narrative? You know, and um, for me, I just came to a place where it's like, oh, okay, Siegfried is gay, you know? <laughs> um, and instead of trying to go, you know, for people asking themselves questions, is he or isn't he? It's like, okay, put it out there and then let them decide how they feel about Sakrit being gay. So it was just playing with the narrative and seeing how um, to look at um, maybe the same narrative, but from a different point of view. No, it 
it's not, it's really, it wasn't a big deal for me. I mean, when I created the work, I wasn't trying to make a political statement, but I realized um, as we were performing the work that people were viewing it like that, but that's also fine, you know? But for me, it was just really going, um, you know, if I'm going to do a swan leg, I don't want to do a swan leg like a classical swan leg because the classical swan leg already exists. I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, so just small changes like changing the main characters and not having two women fighting over a man, you know, that was important for me. So it's like, okay, we'll have a woman and a man fighting over a man. And then we'll just say Siegfried is gay and then we'll tell the story. <laughs> Okay, so um, at the end, what happens is that uh, the swans commit swanicide, which is suicide, um, because they die of grief. And also because swans, um, if one swan dies, the other one will, will die of grief. But when I created the solo, um, uh, Dying, Dying, Dead, which is to the music of Saint Sa, um, I, I, I made that solo for my aunt who died of AIDS. Um, and so I was really heartbroken and I was really vulnerable and I really wanted to show that. Um, but I guess in the context of Swan Lake, you can also look at um, gay people being killed and all of that, you know, the violence that, and, and homophobia and all of that stuff. Um, but essentially what that piece is about is about the vulnerability and the heartbreak um, because Siegfried at the end leaves both Odette and Odile and then Odette and Odile come together and they, 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 they die together because Siegfried doesn't choose any of them. But I mean, it's also quite a difficult one for Siegfried, you know, because he's like trying to find himself and it's like he's got to choose and his parents are really pressurizing him to marry this woman when he's actually not that person, you know, um, and so it's, it's it, I think it's, it's heartbreaking for all three of them. Yeah, but it, that was about vulnerability and grief and sadness and brokenness. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is a very, very overwhelming experience, you know, because I, I knew that um, there was quite a lot of pressure on me because I came first with William Kentridge, who was very big. And then to come in my own right for me, that is just amazing. It's an amazing opportunity. And I really loved it yesterday, last night. It was just like, oh my God, this is so big, you know? And, and sometimes I get really scared because I don't know how people are gonna react. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's live theater, you know, it's exciting and it's scary and you, you never know how people are going to react. But yeah, it was an incredible response and I'm, I'm very happy and I'm very grateful to be here. It's a beautiful theater as well. I think that the live streaming is incredibly extraordinary, you know, because it means that now the work is accessible to everyone, people on the net, people all over the world. So it's a really big th thing for me, you know, and, and for us as the Swans, because not only are we performing in a theater for some people, we're performing for people all over the world. And I mean, that is like incredible. Um, I never actually knew anything about live streaming before this. So yeah, I mean, it was a shock and it was just like, <laughs> and we were so scared and it's like, is the performance going to be great? You know, what happens if we make mistakes? But it went really well. And I, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm overwhelmed by, by the whole thing because it's just so big. <laughs>